This is the logger profile that I created for my block on ramp demonstration. My block is actually Vernier's wireless dynamic sensor system. So it's this uh, device that you see in the picture here. And I have it sitting on the ramp on its side and that's important because otherwise if you put it on a different direction it's not going to work out for you. Now um, this is the first page, the actual page that displays the angle. Um, and uh, We made up the weight of the block. Um, starts off at 20 newtons by default and you can adjust that. And it displays the actual force vectors. Um, now the, set, the first thing you need to do though is go to the kind of the second page and read the two simple instructions. First things first, you have to zero uh, the two directions of acceleration in the X and the Z. So you click the zero button, um, select or uncheck the Y, click OK, and you should see up here that those other two directions will zero out. Now my acceleration is not perfectly 9.8, so I want to go in and adjust that. And so that can simply be done by experiment, calibrate, go to Y. Um, this is going to be a one point calibration, so you s check the one point calibration, click calibrate now, um, click calibrate now, and then type in the negative 9.8, and then don't forget to click keep, I always forget that, and then click OK. And now this clicks over to negative 9.8 and everything should be ready to go. Um, this is, the, by the way, the table of all the calculations. Ultimately, this is just taking the, the acceleration values and using that to get the angle. Um, and then from the angle, it's using uh, a known force that I put in. I put in the force of gravity be 20 newtons, um, which can be adjusted using this parameter box here. And you can see as I adjust that, the uh, normal force being shown in green green is shrinking down and the force of gravity is adjusting. Now the, the fun part is as I change the angle of this so does the the forces displayed and so we have some demonstrations of that right now.